Today is July 25th. It has been exactly one week since we inoculated the Sterilite tubs with the uh, King Strafaria or the wine cap mushroom. So I just want to give you a quick update as to how this experiment is going and to show the progress so far. So we are keeping the Sterilite tubs kind of in this little cabinet like thing and I have a uh, just a thermometer on top um, and it's saying it's it's probably gonna be kind of hard to see this on the camera. The mycelium is expanding into the the cocoa core media. Um, you can kind of see it's expanding out in these areas here. This is basically like the layers that we put in there. Uh, so it is expanding kind of slowly. Um, I've seen other mushrooms like oyster mushrooms and different. Uh, species have expanded faster than this in different mediums um, so I don't know if this is just the way this mushroom kind of grows or if it's just not really liking the, the substrate but uh, it is definitely expanding and even we can kind of look in in here a little bit kind of see it is starting to grow out into that top layer there some nice fluffy white mycelium right there you can kind of but there are some areas that are more more rhizomorphic uh, it's probably kind of hard to see might not really be able to see that but right in here it's kind of starting to grow some some nice sort of rhizomorphic mycelium, which is kind of what you want to see in um, for fruiting conditions of wine caps. Paul Stamets in his book, he actually talks about casing with microbially rich soil or like a casing layer uh, to promote fruiting. And two to three weeks after the casing, long silky white braided rhizomorphs appear, soon giving rise to dark or oyster brown or or red brown primordia. I don't know if this is really going to be acting like the casing layer or if I'm going to need to add a casing layer after this has been colonized, but um, this is only one week. Um, you know, even he's saying in his book, it takes two to three weeks to colonize just the casing layer. So um, it, it's probably just a little bit slow. Uh, and the reason I'm sort of not really being super sterile with this process is because we're going to be using we're using bacteria to help uh, with with the growth of the fungus. This this particular species enjoys having uh, some microbial activity, some bacterial activity. This is the outdoor bed. Um, just a little patch that I kind of put in back here. Uh, let's see if I can loosen this up. So you can see it's definitely expanding in there. Uh, hopefully, it'll kind of be starting to work down into the soil. There are some bugs in here that are probably munching on it, which that's kind of the thing with doing some of this stuff outdoors it's kind of hard to regulate something like that where like the bugs like to eat on the mycelium which a lot of stuff like really really likes eating mycelium so um I try to like bury some of this stuff further down the dirt so anyway that's the outdoor patch
Bye.